in today's video we'll be talking about how to copy files from your phone to your PC or laptop without using any USB cables. Let's jump right in. To set up the FTP server on your phone, you just go to Google Play Store, download the app Wi-Fi FTP Server, install it on your phone. Of course, we've already installed it in this case. We will now tap to open. Now that we have opened the FTP Server, we'll have to go over to the PC and create a connection between the phone and the PC. Once the connection is done, then we will now use the Windows Explorer interface on the PC to access the files that are on the phone. So let's go over to the PC. So once you have set up a connection um, between your phone and the PC, you tap on start. Now, once you start the FTP server, you will have an IP address displayed on the screen and then you go over to your PC. Now over on the PC, what you do is you go to your Windows Explorer, okay? Tap on ne network. Once you click on network on your Windows Explorer, it's going to load whatever network information you have there and then you type in the ftp ip address so we start with ftp then we type in the ip address and do not type don't do not forget to type in the port number which is 2221 and then press enter now once you tap on enter a list of files will be displayed on your screen once a list of file is displayed on your screen of course those are the files that are in your android device so from here you can drag and drop files from your phone from here you can drag and drop files from your phone to your pc so to test if it that works let's drag this image and drop it on our desktop of course that file has been dragged and dropped on our desktop so let's make um, let's rename this and send it back to the pc let's rename this and send it back to the phone then we can just drag this image and still drop it back in the phone and you can see that the image file has been copied into the phone. So that is one of the methods. Another method is you can use your web browser. Let's say if you do not want to type in the IP address into your file explorer, you can launch your web browser. So once you have typed in the IP address and then you press enter, it's going to load all the folders that are in your device. Of course, there are some settings that you need to make on your Android device to inform the system on which folders is supposed to load. So if you do not want it to load your root device, in this case, it is loading from my root, from the root of my device. But if you do not want that to happen, you can select any other folder that you want the system to load from, from your FTP server settings on your mobile phone. Now, if this video was useful to you, please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video.